What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite. So guys, in today's video, we're hopping back onto the Master Tier Ladder, showcasing Sylveon in yet another video. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Join the community and help support me. But um, like I said, we used Sylveon in the last video, showcasing her as a brand new Pokemon, showcasing her best moves and best items. So if you guys want to see that, definitely check out that video. But like I said, in today's video, we're hopping onto the master tier with her. This last video, we just did standard. We were just doing standard, so we're going to hop over to rank over here. And my rank is a little down. I've been losing some on the rank ladder. been a little tough considering I've just been solo queuing. And you guys know, the solo queue is definitely really, really rough. But hopefully today, we can hop on it and grab some wins with the most broken character in the game. The things I do for you guys, I swear, it took me four matches to get Sylveon. i just been playing on the rank ladder for four matches in a row. Actually caught three wins and one losses, but we finally got Sylveon to showcase in a battle for you guys. But hopefully we can get a good one. But, yo, I swear, I was sitting here, I was just like, dude, I cannot get Sylveon. Because everybody is rushing to be Sylveon. And, yo, why are my pass taken? Let, let me go, let me go top, let me go top. Somebody else go bottom. I'm a Sylveon, bro. I'm a Sylveon. Get him out of here, yo. I'm a Sylveon. Actually, I probably could play bottom. But yo, our team's not looking too good, to be honest with you guys. Let me see. Let me see, let me see if I can do a quick chat. and let, Look, they're all saying we're going top. I want to go top path. I'm a Sylveon, bro. I'm one of the best characters in the game. They should totally let me go top path. Let's see what they say. Let's see how this goes down. Oh, my God. I'll let the Absol go central all day. Even though I kind of want to go central, but it's okay. I could definitely play top as well with Sylveon because that's really her main spot. Central area, she's so good with. She is super, super strong with. But their team's looking pretty good as well. We have two junglers, which I don't like. With the Gengar and the Absol. So I feel like the Gengar is either going to be really good or really bad. But I think it's going to be the bad one. I really do. Because Gengar only really thrives in jungle. And he really, ever since the new buffs, she really hasn't been as good as many of the other Pokemon. So we'll see how this one plays out. Hopefully I catch a win or at least bring you guys some good content because, like I said, we waited four battles to get Sylveon. So we finally got her. Let's get rocking out here. I'm going top pad. I, I, I have front spot, so I'm, going, I'm just going to take it. I am just going to take it. Let's grab a Swift right off the rip. Let's see what they do. I'm here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Me and the Gengar actually stole it, which is hilarious. <laughs> Blastoise Incinerate called it first, but I was just like, nah, son. And then the Gengar just came in the back end. He was like, nah, I'm going top lane. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. So I can take that out. There we go. And we're going to go straight for this lovely little corefish. Why, why isn't this Gengar going for this corefish with us? Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful jeans. Actually ripping this up for me. Thank you very much. Mine. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get rolling here. Save that. Let that corefish go to that Absol. Hopefully that come, the Absol comes over to that top lane with us and helps us out. Would be just dandy because we're kind of just sitting here waiting for the corefish at this point. Maybe I can get a goal or not. Oh, this Eevee's going to score. Get him. Try to kill this Eevee. If this Absol can come in right now, that'll be beautiful. Here she is. Beautiful. Later, Eevee. Later, Skater. Let's see if I can hit him with that. Beautiful. Get him out of here, baby. Yo, great start. Oh, Zorora coming in hot. Zorora coming in hot. But I do have my Hyper Voice ready to rock. But we'll try to keep him back a little bit. Dealing some good damage. And you're going to die, Absol. You are going to die. I told you, Absol. I might die too, but I'm actually the back. My eject button. Hit him with this. Slow him down a little bit. Just try to keep dealing damage. I need help over here. What are you doing, Ghastly? He sees there's a Zavora just like up in my grill. He's all up in my space. All up in my space, and this dude's just letting it happen. But since this uh, Absol is kind of just dipping back, I am going to take his jungle Pokemon. Just for a sheer fact, it's just free XP up on the board. And he's kind of controlling that up there, so I will let that happen. I'll be up there in a second after I get this XP. You know, your boy. Your boy wants the levels. Your boy wants levels. All right, I'm coming around. I'm looping around. Gengar, what a big kill. I'll take that all day. But dude, he had my back. If he probably just stepped in there, could have been an easy uh, kill for him and kept me alive. But I'm coming. Yo, double kill for him. Yo, let me get this uh, let me get this Bulbasaur here. Yo, we ripping on him for no reason. There's slow down. Can I get him there? Oh my god, the damage. There it is. Right before he gets the berry. Right before he gets the berry, we're able to pick up that huge KO and able to get Calm Mind out here as well. Huge, huge move considering I get a nice little buff from it. Get a special attack buff, get a speed buff, and I get a uh, special defense buff as well. I can actually pop this thing right here and just tee off on the Sylveon. Oh, you lucky buttery biscuit. Let's see if I can score 16. Can I get 16 in there? I do indeed. Get this thing back. There we go. Big KO from me. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. This, if this Ivysaur steps up, I'm going to kill it. 
by doing this. Just teeing off on that thing. Look at the damage output. Ridiculous. But I really do want to head to this uh, bottom lane, and I'm going to tell the team to. I hit top path, of course. I'm going to the bottom lane. We're going to definitely need some help with this uh, with this Dreadnought. Definitely a huge part. Maybe I can sneak in here and pick up a quick KO. Zoror is coming down here. Let's see if I can get this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get that. Eee, come on, come on, come on. Got the back. I got the back. I got to get HP. Got to get HP before we head in there. The berries are sitting here for me. Yo, here's a Haunter. Let's rock. I'm taking both berries. I'm definitely going to need it. I almost have my ult, dude. Level 7, I would get my ult. Level 7, I would get my ult. Can we just teen off on that? There's a KO for me. Looking lovely. Can I get this again? That might be another one. Might be another one. There's a huge double KO for us. I'm going to start teen off on this thing. Just doing that. I am level 8, so I have my ult. And there's Dreadnought. Beautiful, baby. Get a nice big old Dreadnought. Can I score these 30? It would be lovely. We can constantly push back. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. We have Cinderace here. We might be able to pick up some big KOs here. If there's one... I might just ult here. But you know what? I can definitely score my 30 points without getting touched. And just head back to that top lane. Loving it, baby. Later, tower. Get it out of my face. Oh, the Aldino did spawn. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hit it and Aldino did despawn. But, yo, dude, this Pokemon is so strong, yo. Absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. That's why I was just like, yo, you gotta let me get the top lane. Luckily, that Gengar's going into that jungle. I was just about to go in there and do that. I'm gonna follow up behind these guys. Oh, there's a Sylveon here. Just hopped out of nowhere. Yo. Or Turtle. There's a Sylveon right here. Oh, do I ult? Do I ult? Do I ult? No, I'm dipping back a little bit. Get some HP. Any berries? No berries. Let's try and get the berries of some of these bees. Get some XP. And now the back and get some more HP. And we're playing pretty well. We're playing pretty well for this top lane, but we're trying to follow up beyond this Rotom. And I'm going to head in there now. I just need to get a little bit more HP. I've been learning how to play a little bit back more with Sylveon, considering I'm using an attacking build with her, with the choice specs and everything. Oh, yeah. Poor War Turtle. Poor War Turtle. We're Blastoids now. Poor guy. Let's all score. Go ahead. Rotom, break this thing. Let's all score. Bink, bink, bink. And now take out this war. He's right. Yo, dude, there's four of us. I'm going to ult. I'm not dying here. I'm not dying here. Like, are you guys kidding me? Why didn't we take out that Zorora instantly? He should have been dead instantly. But luckily, I ulted. And look how much range I was able to get through. Look how much I was able to move. I'm going to die here. Unless I get this speed boost. Nah, no. Dude, but like, we had this war. It was a 4v1. I don't know why everyone didn't just like step up and kill that thing ridiculous ridiculous luckily i was still able to get it i ult it because i was just like if i don't ult, i'm dead but yeah we're playing super super well here super well as a Sylveon. if we can get this next Drenal, which i might just let them do i might get this jungle just so i can get some more hp here oh, i'll use the wrong move i want to use my uh what's it called first i want to use my, my other one first my little calm mind but if we can get this next Drenal, we can be sitting really pretty here i'm just gonna take this out and then go help out with the Drenal. just get this xp we do have a bigger number. They are scoring a lot in the top lane. Maybe I should have went there. But again, if we can secure this Shred and all, it would be really big for us. I think they got it. I think they definitely have it. Here comes Sylveon. I'm just going to tee off on this thing. Just keep it back a little bit. Can you help me out? Or you guys going to get Shred and all? There's Shred and all. Thank you. And now, yo, can we rip up on this Sylveon, please? Get this Sylveon out of our game. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's roll. Let's roll, baby. Let's push up on this tower. Kill these bees. I ain't dealing with the bees. Not dealing with the bees, baby. Get them out of my game. Yo, poor Crustle. Yo, can we just walk up and tee off on this Crustle? Oh, the Roar is here, too. Yo, my team just dip on me, bro. Yo, can I get some help here? Can I get some? Yo, can you guys turn around? Thank you very much. Oh, my Lord, bro. Like, I'm sitting there with people in my face. Like, our team's playing good, but every time I get into a battle, there's, like, nobody there to back me up. I'm going to dip back, get some HP. Bottom lane is just not cleared again. We're just running around as like a full squad. I should actually dip back to that bot lane. Let's just farm up HP. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're well, not HP. Farm up some XP here. The Absol is chilling in that bot lane. I'm cool with that. The Absol played jungle, but then she stopped taking out the jungle enemies, which is like a big no-no. Definitely a big no-no, considering a lot of XP is just sitting in the jungle every time they spawn. You're on fire. Yeah, we're almost level 13, which could be huge for us. I do have another alt ready to go. I might try to get this crustle with it. Or or I think I'm just going to save it for Zapdos. I think that's going to be my play. Save it for Zapdos because that can definitely be a big factor for us winning this uh, game. But yo, yeah, look how quick I can just melt the bees. No problem. I might push up and try to score. I have 40 Pokeballs. I might come on up here. And this thing is a little lower level than me. Get back a little bit. Missing all my Hyper Voices there. Missing all my Hyper Voices. I really want to get back. 
don't really want to mess with that thing too too much and Zorora's there as well and he can leap like that yo Absol help me out here Absol oh she went back to base she went back to base okay I had the jack button here I do have my speed boost again Absol there you are I'm trying to survive I'm just trying to survive I had to use my jack button which is totally fine I'm just gonna tell everybody to do not to the bottom lane I meant to say central lane but bottom lane works considering the adrenals there and there is enemies but I want to be full health I definitely want to be full health by the time Zapdos comes in here. Let's go ahead there. Give me a little bit more health. I think we can just hop in here. All right, let's roll. Let's roll, baby. Let's get it. I have my ult ready to go. Ready for this team fight. We got to win this one. We got to win this one right here. Come here. Come here, Venusaur. Pop my special defense boost, which could be big. I could just ult in there. That's some big damage. I am going to ult right now. Drop that. Their Sylveon is also going to do the same. We are just teeing off on some damage Ooh, when there's a big ult from him. Where's my squad at? Where's my team at, bro? There's my Cinder. He's doing some work. Gotta hit up on this thing. There you go. Get that thing out of here. And how low is that thing? Gotta try to get rid of this Sylveon here. Can I get her on with that? Let's take this thing out. And there we go. Zapdos kill. Beautiful. That is exactly how it is done. We play that super, super well. We play that Zapdos amazingly well. Securing us this victory here, yo. Venusaur, you want the smoke here? Oh my lord, yo, the damage. Let me just score real quick. Secure this victory. Bang. Beautiful. Frustle, you want the smoke, man? You want the smoke? There it is. Other team surrenders, yo. What a match by us, yo. We played super, super well with Sylveon in that top lane. I feel like our team played well all around. They really did play well all around. And we played that Zapdos perfectly. Most teams just go right in for Zapdos and try to kill him as quickly as possible. And at that point, the other team just comes in there and kills you. We played back a little bit, used our ults really, really well, and ended up taking the Zapdos for the victory. We went 4-10, 10, 10 assists, yo, with Sylveon and 174 points. I consider that a really, really strong game, considering how many points we put up on the board, how much team support we did, and how many deaths we really did not have. I'm trying to think, we might have died like twice. I think it was like twice, maybe once. We have a solid battle. Let's hop into our second in the master tier and try, and try to showcase Sylveon once again. I gotta give props to that Gengar in the last battle. Considering in the beginning of the battle, I was like, yo, I don't think this Gengar is going to be good. But he played the top lane really, really well. And it ended up being an all-around great Pokemon for a team. But hey, we're able to get Sylveon yet again. And I'm going to say, yo, let's go central lane with this one. I'm going to try to rock the central lane with Sylveon. Super, super strong Pokemon, dude. I'm just loving this Pokemon so much the hyper voice and calm mind combo is just ridiculously strong like hyper voice does so much damage up against amounts of pokemon like the more pokemon it hits the more damage it does so for team fights it is so good especially if you can line up your shots and be able to mirror the uh opposing pokemon's movement and the reason i say mirror it is because if you line up with them and they're moving left and right you just got to be able to mirror them and kind of follow them to keep the damage rolling and keep it stacking on top of it but Combine is so good because you get that speed boost first of all so you can get out of sticky situations or catch up to other Pokemon. But you also get that special defense boost and special attack buff. So you're just really just buffing this Pokemon out of its mind, making it do a crazy amount of damage. So with this Pokemon, I get three buffs. I got my Choice Spec special attack buff, my Wise Glasses special attack buff, and then Combine on top of that. All that stack with the Hyper Boy stacking up damage, it's just crazy damage. It is really just crazy damage. That's why I love this Pokemon so much. But it's definitely going to get nerfed soon. 100%. But well, we got the Ninetales on our team with that new cool skin. I think it's like a $40 skin. But it's sick. It is sick. Y'all gotta give it to it. It is definitely sick. I'm totally heading right with this eject button. Straight into this lane. Using my Swift. Hitting this little, little pup of stars. Hitting this lovely little pup of stars. Bang. There we go. Take that out. And I have my, uh, my baby doll eyes. It's weird. Baby doll eyes in, in like Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's not an attacking move. But in this game, it's an attacking move. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, which I like how they did that, and I like how it still gives that that attack debuff. So it's really really good. Debuff, debuff, however you want to say it. Keep ripping this. The only that's the only thing I don't like is uh, I don't like how Swift works. Even though I only use it for like three moves, but it's very like not straight shots. It like loops around Pokemon sometimes. It really does. But I'm gonna head over to this top lane. They look like they're struggling a little bit, and usually bottom lane can uh can hang with themselves because they're a bit of more bulky Pokemon and defensive. Oh, I thought that Lucario was a uh, third Lucario. Yo, baby doll eyes. Can I snipe this thing? I can hit that thing. Missed it. It's all good. It's all good. I'm kind of just waiting for the bees here. I'll chill in right in this bush. Wait for the bees to come out here and then just smoke them with the hyper boys. There we go. Get that. Do that. But I had to push that thing back. 13 off with that. And then just drop my hyper boys. Look at that. The rip up on the bees. Yo, I can tee off on these things. Kind of mirror that movement and dip back a little bit. Hit that. I do have to dip back a little bit. You guys got to dip back as well. 
I'm dead. Eat a check button. Ah! Come on! That one's on me. That one's on me. Should have should have dashed back a little bit earlier, but that's what I've been saying I've really been working on with Sylveon, considering I usually play Pokemon that like are able or a bit bulkier or able to regen health like Greninja. Usually I like to get up a close and personal. And with this Pokemon, you can't really do that because you get you get punished for it. You really do get punished for it. I've been learning to stay back. The last battle we did it really, really well. Right there, not so well. Not so well. Especially up against another Sylveon. I'm gonna head back to that top lane. I definitely think the top lane needs to help. I think that bottom lane's really thriving here. I'm just gonna loop around here, get some more XP, get level seven more importantly. Which is just dandy. By taking out this lovely little corefish. There is a reboot. Can I catch up to him? I should be able to take out the Squirtle. Come here, Squirtle. There's that. Come here. Come here, Reboot. Come here, Reboot. Come here, Reboot. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Walking around there, teen off on him. Let's see if I can flank this Sylveon here. Where's that Sylveon at? Nice kills. Nice kills. I gotta be able to catch in this 30. If I can catch in this 30, that's huge. Because now I can head down to that bot lane. And that's poor Squirtle. That thing is still a poor Squirtle. If I get this kill here. Be big. Oh, oh, I did get level 8. I was gonna say, I need that kill to get level 8. But I'm gonna tell everybody, yo, down to the bottom path right now. Get down to the bottom path. We got Drenol spawning. And I do have my ult, which is great. Come here, reboot. Come here, reboot. Let me tell you something. Then I have to ult here. Let's ult. Can I use this again? Oh my god, I almost KO. There it is. There's that KO. That's exactly what I want to enter. Drenol did spawn. Let's take him out. Let's take him out, people. Let's take him out. I mean, you guys can, if you guys just defend there. That could be great. There's a kill. And Sylveon is here. Definitely got to watch out for that Pokemon. Super, super scary. I am trying to just take out Dreadnought. Take him out. Yo, take him out. Take him out here. Yes, sir. Get the big Dreadnought kill. Up and over here. Get some big damage off on all these guys. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Nice all by the Blastoids. That is huge. See if I can actually line up this and kill that thing. There we go. Get this thing out of here. And I'll finish off this tower. Nope. Lucario's got it. Oh, no. I did it. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to head back to base. Well, not even head back to base. Just head back to the central area and get some HP. But, yo, what a nice little push there. And now our three guys are going to that top. I'll let them do the work over there while I farm up this XP. That's it. And they are going to go get that Rotom and tear up that top lane. And I'll be in there to help just after I farm up the XP. Because, like I always say, this XP in the jungle is so important. Just being a higher level than most people is just huge. Let's see how we're doing. Let's see how we're doing. We're four and three, yo. Playing great. Playing really good. Really good Pokemon Unite today on the rank ladder. With Sylveon. Oh my lord, yo. I gotta love this Pokemon. But I tried out Mystical Fire. I don't I don't like it as much. It's super strong, don't get me wrong, but I just think Mystical Fire is definitely the way to go with everything. They have big kills. They didn't get Rotom. Buttery Biscuit. Buttery Biscuit, but dude, they have so many wild enemies just chilling in the jungle. I might steal some. Oh jeez, bro. Come here. Come here. Oh, you buttery biscuit. Oh, he ulted, yo. He ulted. Leave me alone, bro. I almost had that. <laughs> I shouldn't have went into the jungle, but it's okay. We had no other wild enemies on our map. If you look at the side of the map, there's really nothing for me to do besides just defend, which I probably should have done, but I was trying to get a little bit of an XP boost. But yo, get after it, boys. Get after it. I'm coming over there. I'm going to head to that bot lane and try to get Dreadnought again. I do have my ult ready to rock. Actually, I do want to hit this thing up. Of course, I use it so stupidly. I just wasted a hyper voice. But luckily we get another one like instantly. Nice kill by the Blastoise. Daddy Jean's coming in here now. Daddy Jean's coming. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Who needs whooping? Let's go. Let's whoop up on this Drenol. Oh, come here, Sylveon. Come here, Sylveon. I have my ult. I don't think she has her ult. It'd be good. I'm gonna ult onto them. Right now. Pop. Come here, Sylveon. Get her out of my game. Don't want her there. Don't need her there. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Let me get the kills going. Let's get this thing out of her game. Oh, here comes these guys. Oh, my lord. So many of them. So many of them. Here's our team. Here's our team. Let's see if I can get this Dreadnought. Did I get that? I did, yo. I stole that Dreadnought. That's huge. Come here, Cinderace. Let me tell you something, Cinderace. I'm dead, but still, I'll take that all day. Get the Dreadnought. Got a few kills in there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Luckily, I saw that Dreadnought. I saw that Dreadnought, like, low on HP, and I was just like, let me send my Hyper Voice in there. And Hyper Voice is such a good move 
for that reason also. It's like a constant beam of damage, so most of the time, you're going to get that last hit on wild Pokemon such as Zapdos, Shrednall, Rotoms, or if you're just farming wild Pokemon early on in the game. Super, super good. Look at that, because like I said, it's just a constant beam of damage. But like I said, chances are you're getting that thing, and I just proved it there. Just proved it there. They were teeing off on that thing. I was able to come and clutch there, get that. But we have a minute left till uh, till Drenal does spawn. So I kind of want to try to get this next level. I don't kind of want to try to get this next level. And there should be Garchomp trolling around here, but I'm thriving with that. We've got these extra Pokeballs. A nice little huge lead here. Two Drenal kills, which is big. Nobody's in that top lane. That's rough. They're going to put up some big points there. Oh, he moved. He moved. That son of a biscuit. Come here. Come here. Come here, Garchomp. Let me tell you something. There's a double KO. Get out of there, Lucario. Get out of there, Lucario. That a boy getting a kill. Come here. Come here, Mr. Mime. That's what I thought. Get out of here. Did I push up here? I score. Some big damage. I am level 14 compared to their level 10. But I'm just going to chill here. Save save for the all. I'm looking for the win here. We do have the lead, which is great. And we won't have time to kill Dreadnought because Dreadnought is just going to despawn. But at this point, I just chill. Come here, Blastoids. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Let me tell you something. Dude, the ridiculous amount of damage that I can do. Like, I just absolutely melted this guy. So, Cinder, stay, stay back. Stay back. We don't need you. We don't want you. The final Let me get you out of here. There you go. Get their You're top dog fire. out of there. Huge KO there. I'm going to head to this mid lane now. Just be prepared. Just being prepared here. And this guy should be spawning right here. <laughs> what is he doing? Okay, I'm going to all here. Bop. Slamming down here. And just teeing off, dude. And that's huge. That's huge KOs there. 100 points there. We should be able to just take out this uh, Zapdos here. I'm not really worried about that Blastoise too much. So I'm just going to keep teeing off on this thing. Get my damage off. And now I'm going to go after this Blastoise. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to let my team handle that one. Uh-oh. I need another Hyper Voice here. Do I send it? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wait for it. Now. Let's go, yo. Let's go, yo. The perfectly timed... Hyper voice, yo. That is how it is done, yo. I was waiting for that. Oh, yo, what are you doing here? Get him out of here. What are you doing here, dog? Let me get a nice little special defense boost and speed boost here as well. Hope I can push back. I'm dead. Can you guys score points? That'd be huge. Secure the victory. Awesome. And Mammoth Swine's coming in there. But, yo, that was the most perfect time hyper voice I have ever used. I was waiting there. I got the Zapdos kill, too. You guys saw it on the screen. But I was legit just waiting there. I was like, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Once everyone started attacking, I sent that. Got that last hit, yo. So perfect. If I would have used it anytime sooner, it would have ran out and we wouldn't have been able to get that uh, Zapdos kill. But yo, what a game by your boy. Dominating on the Master tier. Dominating on Master tier. Let's see if we can get one more kill. Coming over to that Cinderace. Come here, Cinderace. Yes, sir. Give me that kill. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucario. I had to take it from you. I had to take it from you. I'm going to go bounce see if I get some more kills. Come here. Let's go. Let's bounce over here. I'm coming. Let me use my speed boost here. I'm coming, boys. T and off, yo. The damage output. Ridiculous. He's going to ult. That's totally fine. T and off here. I get my buff. I'm going to die here. It's all good. GG's, bro. 2 and 0 for Master Tier Battles. Those were actually my first two battles. A lot of people, like, in my Pokemon Sword and Shield videos and my Pokemon Unite videos, are like, yo, you make a cut. You're not showing the real battles. I show all my real battles. I show every single battle. All the ones I lose, all the ones I win, all the ones I play crappy in, and all the ones I play good in. But right here, we just play good in back-to-back -back battles. 12 and 11. 12 and 11 for Central Lane, Sylveon. Played really, really well. Only 48 points. Should have got the final points, but weren't able to get that. But still, carried the team to victory and went 2 and 0 for today's video. The power of Sylveon is off the charts. This Pokemon is definitely going to get nerfed soon, and I'm going to be a little upset with it because I've been dominating with Sylveon. I've been using her in standard battles, quick battles, rank battles, and just putting up a massive amount of kill, massive amount of points, and massive amount of assists with her. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. I also forgot to ask you guys a question of the day, so let me know in the comments section down below for it. What Pokemon do you think they should add next? Considering your boy's sitting at 10,000 coins, and I kind of want to buy a new Pokemon that I don't have yet. Maybe like Gengar, Lucario, or Absol. Some 10,000 points. But I kind of want to save my money at the same time, just in case a new character comes out. I can buy him up and showcase him for you guys. But let me know your guys' answer for question of the day in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.